What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the next part of our Shopify series. My name is Angelo from Cosmos Inc. And in this video, we are going to be covering the customers tab on the back end of your Shopify site. So before we get into the video, of course, I need you all to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you all will be updated every time I post new videos. After you do that, be sure to join our Facebook group Sublimation Cove, where we cover the topic of sublimation. I'll have that link down below in the description as well. And after you do that, if you need any type of sublimation ink or pigment ink for your business, hit the link down below and you can get it directly from us, the owners of Cosmos Inc. And we'll have it sent out to you directly from our warehouse immediately. All right. So from here, what we want to do is come down to where it says customers. We'll click on customers, and as you can see, we have one dummy customer right here. Of course, I just made this site, so I went ahead and added them. Um, if you don't have any customers, that's okay. It's going to be a button right here where it says we can add a customer or you can import a customer. Um, honestly, I would not do either one. Um, since you're just starting out, Shopify Shopify is automatically going to add customers uh, whenever they make a purchase. Uh, if they enter in their email address and they abandon the cart so they don't check out uh, email subscribers, if they're returning, if they're new, it's all right here. So new is going to be if they bought an item for the very first time. Returning is if they came back to buy another item. So all of your people that you have right here, they're all they should be in, you know, returning or new or whatever. After that, abandon checkouts if they enter their email address and don't buy anything. And then email subscribers if they go down to the bottom of your site and they sign up for your newsletter and to, you know, be updated. So after we put in our uh, dummy, you know, person or whatever, who's actually not a dummy, if y'all know who this is. All right. So click on this. And this is going to be extremely important if you ever have to come to uh change the customer's email address uh possibly update their phone number uh update their address because a lot of people uh they put in the wrong address and or it could be the correct address however they moved and they never updated their address since the last time they uh, purchased an order or just for whatever reason you can be able to update update their shipping address right here all right and you can also be able to add customer notes so for us, we have a uh, fake account, which is a uh, Malcolm Little 10 at Gmail dot com uh, fake phone number. Also, if they enter in their phone number, they will receive shipping updates. So I highly recommend people. I highly recommend that you tell people to, you know, definitely enter in their phone number so that way they can get the tracking information sent directly to their cell phone. So we have our default address and this is the shipping address that they're going to put in. Uh, of course, with their phone number attached to it down here. Let's see, tax settings. Uh, you can do no exemptions or you can click manage and then uncheck this and then hit save. And then it'll be, it'll say taxes are not collected, but it depends on what type of business you're running. That if it depends on what type of business you are running, if you are going to collect taxes or not. So for a lot of us, we're going to be collecting taxes because we're dealing directly with the consumer. And in my case, I'm dealing directly with the consumer with this website. So I'll make sure this is checked and I'm going to hit save. Email marketing. This box should automatically be checked if you set up your website the way we did uh, a few um, a few videos ago. All right. Uh, I had it where uh, it was automatically checked when somebody you know sign up or when they're going through the checkout process uh but you know if they uncheck it of course it's going to be unchecked in here once they go through the process so i don't recommend changing this at all whatsoever just leave that the way it is and when you scroll down uh you have the timeline so this is uh you know the order of events that the customer has made on your website whether uh you know their information was changed uh whether by you or somebody else or if they placed the order or if they did you know some other things as well it'll jot down all that information down here and then of course you have customer privacy uh request customers data get a copy of this customer's data by email so you can forward it to them and that's if you know they request it 
After that, you have erased personal data. Ask Shopify to remove this customer's personal information from your store. You can do that as well. I've never used either one of these, um, so I don't even worry about that. All right, and for tags, you can be able to add tags too. And this does come in handy if like you have uh, big time, you know, return customers or, uh, you know, just whatever tags that you want to add, you can be able to add them right there. All right, after that, let's see what else you have account invite. So majority of times you're not going to have to use this because when they create an account, they're going to receive that invite on their end because they created the account. However, since I created this dump, this uh, uh, fake account, I have to send the invite and it'll send it to this email address and then they'll, you know, whether they'll either accept the invite or, you know, deny the invite. Also, if a customer forgets their password and they're unable to reset it themselves, you can send them a password reset through this screen and it'll be right here in this area right here. All right, so if anything happens and they got to reset their password and they're asking you how can they do it and it's not showing up on their end, you can come in on your side and send them that password reset. And of course, if you have to delete the customer, you come down here, hit delete customer. So we'll just come up here and hit the back button. And of course, like I said, I already went through new, I went through returning, I went through abandoned checkouts, I went through email subscribers, and these will filter all of your customers. All right. After this, you have export. So I recommend, and this is me personally, if you come to all right here, you click on export, you're gonna have current page and you're gonna have all customers. You can either export it as a CSV for Excel, numbers or other spreadsheet programs or a plain CSV file. Personally, I recommend you export it for all customers and export as a CSV for Excel numbers or other spreadsheet programs. So with this and last and lastly, I say this again. Actually, I'm not even gonna say I recommend this. I require this, just like the other few things that I've hinted out that I require. I always export all of my customers from my site to my own personal list uh, every other month. All right, every other month because. I can sit down and argue about this over and over and over and, you know, just debate about it and talk about it. But I believe that, you know, information is a natural resource now. You know, whoever has the most information, you know, always has the leg up. That's why certain uh, uh, social media sites and so that have the leg up because of all this information, because of all this data that they are getting that people will, you know, give up. And of course, you never, ever, ever want to abuse that data like period however you know you want to use that to your advantage you know if you've been building up customers for a year for two years for three years you've been getting email addresses and stuff like that um if something was to ever happen to your shopify site you know god forbid uh you will lose you know everything you'll lose your entire customer list and all that stuff and uh this is one of the perks of have of having a shopify website because uh etsy they don't allow you to get customer email addresses and uh you know just have a list of customer email addresses from orders that have been placed so that's why transitioning over into shopify that's one of like the biggest perks that you can have by doing that all right so i'm not going to get too deep into that so for me i always go to uh export all customers csv file for excel numbers or other spreadsheet programs and i export it every other month you can do it as frequent as you want to all right and then once you hit export customers it's not going to just give you the file for you to download down here um it's going to send this file over to your email address that is associated with your shopify site and i love that because that stops people on let's say your back end like let's say you have employees that stops them from being able to just download this customer list directly onto the computer and then emailing themselves the whole list and then walking away with uh all of your customers contact information uh illegally because they didn't say that 
you know, hey, I was, you know, I wanted my email address to go, you know, to this person or that person. They said, hey, they wanted it to go to, you know, the company. So that'll save you from lawsuits and all that stuff. So I love that, that you can export this customer list directly to your email address, which only you should have access to. So from here, we'll just hit the X button. And if you ever want to delete a customer, you can select that, go to more actions and go to delete selected customers. So that's it. That wraps up this portion of our Shopify series. Of course, my name is Angelo. Be sure you hit that subscribe button down below. After you do that, be sure to check out our Facebook group, Sublimation Cove, where we talk about sublimation. And after that, be sure to order from us if you need any type of sublimation ink or pigment ink. You can click on that link down below. It'll take you straight to Cosmos Ink website. Buy whatever you need and we'll get it sent out to you, all right? I will see you all in the very next video. Angelo out.